This is the F Plus Podcast, and this is our number two uh, of the 24 hour, 24, fuck, I'm already mispronouncing things. <laughs> hour two of, of 24 <laughs> terrible hours. We're doing great, guys. Uh, guys, this, this fine. is fine. We're doing really well. We're doing I haven't even drank yeah. anything yet. We're number two. We're number two. Uh, yeah, so uh, I am joined. Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo, you know what that means. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying, Lemon? Uh, that noise that you're hearing uh, was Hanson's mbop that is happening at every $100. Uh, and, uh, man, we got a bunch of them coming in. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, the uh, Southern, Law, Southern Poverty Law Center, I'm sure, appreciates you, as do I. Um, but uh, what we're going to be looking here uh, for the, our second hour, um, Nutshell, uh, welcome. Yes. Uh, what we're going to be looking here is a uh, document uh, provided uh, actually by the first uh, major donator to this uh, the process, uh, and his name is Neil, and uh, this is a document um, called Breatharians, which I'm assuming is like vegetarians, but for, like, breathing? That, I mean, that's a guess. I mean, it's people who have decided that they can live only on uh, uh, breathing and water and true inner light and peace. Oh my God, uh, that's exciting! And uh, oh, and there's no CSS at all on this website. Terrific. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so um, so uh, Jimmy Franks, um, if you'll uh, if you'll lead us in with uh, just a brief introduction here, and then yeah. I'm gonna ask some questions for you. Absolutely. Uh, let me pick a place because there's a lot of stuff here. Oh no no no! Just 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 start off. Just, just start off. I have some questions for you. Jump in. Um, <clears throat> breatharianism. Uh, this is a state of man, uh, an idiot, not eater, breatharian, characterized by the absence of eating, resulting from, or rather, being in a stage on the way to expanding of the consciousness sphere in which man lives. Oh, in, the, of it, course, I, I should have guessed actually from the title. <laughs> yeah, uh, in general, an ideal, fully realized, an idiot, a breatharian or not eater, has no need to eat or drink to keep the body working perfectly. A breatharian consumes no food and no drink. They need only air to nourish the body. Oh, see, I was wrong about the water. <laughs> uh, many not-eaters, even if they call themselves a breatharian, drink water, tea, coffee, or other beverages from time to time. Uh, some of them, in order to satisfy the sense of taste, to eat a piece of chocolate, a cookie, some cheese, horseradish, or something else once in a while. Which is different than not eating, but I'll go on. <laughs> it certainly the, is. The not eating state of an in, in idiot, breatharian, not eater, doesn't require any ascetic practices of the body. This did is you, more. Did you call. Did you, did you just invent a burn of eat, eat it, eat it? Uh, in, in idiot. In, in idiot? Oh boy. I don't know. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, <laughs> how is this? How is this possible? Oh, uh, well, are you, are you open minded? Are you an esoteric person? Or are you scientifically minded or deeply religious? You have to choose lemon. <laughs> Wait, do I? Yes. yes. I have You're explanations for all of those. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'm an esoteric person. Okay. Well, uh, uh, ubiquitous energy, whether called prana, chi, ki, organ, liquid light, or by other names, liquid light! Huh? Or, Maintains the organism of someone who doesn't eat. A human body can be powered by prana if the subconscious, which manages the body metabolism and shapes the physical body, acquires the skill of automatic transformation of ubiquitous prana to satisfy the needs of the human body. Uh, jerking off motion being made with <laughs> one's hand. <laughs> Wait, why are you why are you narrating my actions right now? <laughs> um, but, you know, if you're open-minded, I'll, I'll tell you, there are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Ah. <laughs> no matter whether we believe in something or not, the phenomenon takes place irrespective of our knowledge or belief. Besides, <laughs> besides, no matter how we try and explain it, it is the explanation arrived at really so important. Hmm... I mean, yes. Yeah. 
Thanks, Vortex. The most important thing is that from the beginning of our civilization, there are always were people who never ate. Such people existed, existed, will exist, which means that we too have this capability. You sure? You sure, we, you sure about we, that? We yep. only need totally to sure. find a way to adapt the body to a different kind of energy processing. Boy, that doesn't seem super right. Mm. That's why I got solar panels installed as a body mod. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're the coolest cyborg. I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so uh, let's go into the uh, breatharian... Um, Oh, Whoa, shit! Yeah. Hey, yo! <laughs> Damn, the Hanson power. It's amazing. <laughs> Shoot off a uh, boombox. Uh, <laughs> and that was because there was a donation by Screaming Hobo who says, Give me that sweet boombop! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like in a thousand, we have to yeah. play the whole song. Is that going to get oh, us yes. off no, we can, Yeah, we can make that much, much, Much like oh. Breatharians, we will be sustained by the sweet, sweet sounds of the Brothers Hanson. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so, uh, in scenario. nutshell, <laughs> yes? um, this is, uh, we're going to the uh, forums at, uh, breatharian.info, um, okay. which is, oh boy, this site is differently ugly than the first site, and, um, uh, so, so this is a thread entitled, breatharians who eat our breatharians, question mark. Okay. So that's confusing. Do you just start with Rickliff? Yes, yeah, Rickliff, please. Okay, I am Rickliff, and I am starting a new topic to discuss something that a lot of people think about breathinarianism, and a lot of people discuss and question about the breatharians. Hmm. <laughs> of course, what I'm going hmm. to write is my personal opinion. If someone has something to say, it's very welcome. For me, breatharianism is a very complicated subject. There are a lot of things to take into consideration. <laughs> oh boy, sound effects. Um, one, be a breatharian is not just a diet option like carnivorism, vegetarianism, veganism, fruititarianism. I say that because to be a breatharian, you need to activate inactive parts of your being and raise your vibration frequency too, and when you just change your diet, you don't need to do that. Two, yep. a breatharian is not a person that never eat, but someone that doesn't need to eat, and if it is his slash her choice, he slash she can immediately stop eating at any time and be in the state as long as he slash she wants to. I can quit eating any time I want! I just don't you have a, want you have to! A, you have a problem. You have a problem. You're doing something that all living creatures have done since the beginning of time. Of course, that the type of person that we are looking for here is someone who is a breatharian and never eats. This point can make breatharianism a little bit confused, because there are several people that says that he, she is a breatharian, and he slash she is a person who eats like any other person, and it is very confusing because it's hard to believe that this person can really live on prana slash light slash chi if he slash she really wants to. There okay, are several Breatharians. Three. Three. There are several Breatharians that eats only for pleasure. Uh, I suppose that these people never have lunch or dinner, but just eat once in a while when they want, just for pleasure and not necessity. Ah, yes. Uh, yes, of course. They don't eat because they need neither, because they are hungry, but exclusively for pleasure, and in this case, the person be one or more weeks without any food, and then one day they eat a little piece of chocolate or cake or something they want. It's about freedom to eat or not eat and not a prison of, I'm a breatharian and so I'm prohibited to eat. And you know, I really feel like eating an entire dinner today, like yeah. every other day. It's weird <laughs> how that works. It, you know, just w once a week I consume two entire cheesecakes and I'm fine. <laughs> Wait, we're all breatharians in this room. Yeah. Uh, four, about Jasmine. I believe that she is one person who eats exclusively for pleasure, but she is a real breatharian. There are some people who seems to me to be pure breatharians at this moment. Hirahatam Manek, Jericho Sunfire, that Russian lady, Michael, <laughs> Michael <laughs> Werner, Ahaki and his wife Camilla, and others. Five, there are several aspects considered to become a breatharian. 
for me, breatharianism transforms a person completely in all levels, and almost nobody wants to live this way. I mean, extremely sensitive to be excluded from social events, to loose friends, maybe loose the job, to be criticized and ridiculed, to make the other people guilt to eat. Nope. <laughs> here, here, darling, I kicked I cooked you a giant pot of guilt. Tuck in. <laughs> uh, uh, to had be that last night. You're going to have it every night, honey. Um, <laughs> to be attacked by other people or doctors or to be accused to try to end his slash her life, parentheses, suicide, to keep the vibrations always in a high level so she, he, she can absorb the prana slash chi slash ki slash life force and other life force. Oh, God. Are Breatharians the the space vampires from Life Source, from from Life Force? Well, no, there was it was based on them. Oh, okay, well, that's yeah, good. Yeah. And other aspects to have all levels of his slash her being so clean and then so vulnerable to pollution and several other things. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so then we're going to uh, in that same thread here. Uh, we're going to move down to uh, Kim hyphen Andre. And uh, Jimmy Franks, if you'll take that, please. Wait, oh, no, I'm sorry. Nope. I, I, was I, was, I, was, I was mistaken. All right, so, uh, so now we have another thread here called the uh, pineal gland. Uh, pineal gland, and uh, Jimmy Franks, as I said, you are Kim Andre Allegian here. Um, so my name is Conrad Costa, uh, Koska, and... Uh, Breatharianism is all about, and you're going to like this word, detoxing body mm. and making this gland to awake. Staying in darkness for a few days makes pineal to produce DMT and we see light. Mantak Chia said, light is a food of the gland. <laughs> oh, there's a YouTube link. I'm clicking it. <laughs> so helpful. Um, and then, uh, isn't it the best way to go through 21 day process? And then, uh, uh Jimmy Franks, you're, uh, Kim Andre. Jimmy Franks. Jimmy Franks! Uh, Jimmy Franks! Frank West, you are, Frank West, you are Kim, hyphen Andre. Well, you think all those Franks just look alike, huh? I do, I do, actually. It's true, we're pretty similar. DMT stands for dimethyl... Tripetamine, uh, I think I got that right, and is commonly known as the spirit molecule, which was probably first suggested by the title of Rick Strassman's book. The reason they call it the spirit molecule is because it is synthesized in all life forms known to man, and when activated, induces the most intense experience of oneness. Okay, it, okay. It is also dubbed, dubbed the divine moment of truth because of the inevitable reality of the experience, which will radically transform your perception of your divine self and has the potential to promote peace because one realizes that one is all that is. Joy, as in the joy of being super, super high. I mean, the joy of being that can be applied to any situation. Wisdom, as in the knowing of who you. Uh, yeah, I'm a drug Zarian. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, who I'm a you Doritos and... Arian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a stuff in my sofa Arian. It's just no. what else there. <laughs> and thus the others are in essence freedom because you know that you are infinite and that there are nobody else out there to inhibit your self-expression and most of all love, self-love that becomes all love because it is all the self. There is a forum online dedicated to this crystal of life that is called the DMT Nexus. And there is also a documentary about it called The Spirit Molecule. You know, uh, Frank West, uh, everything that you've said so far, I gotta say, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. I don't really understand any of it. Well, have you considered that you are me and I am you and I know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wow. You got me there, uh, you there. Kaboosh! <laughs> if we're all run, then everything I'm saying makes sense, and you no, agree some, with me already. Uh, some next level shit. <laughs> and then, uh, Jimmy Franks, you are Dominus. I am Dominus! Hi, we're going. Funny, uh, 
I just remembered how the other day, as I was lying in my bed, sort of felling asleep, no light on, <laughs> suddenly I heard a crash and saw a flash of light! <laughs> Mm. Bye. 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 <laughs> Hope that helps. Wait, that's the end. That's very helpful. <laughs> yes, that's the end. And uh, uh, so uh, we, as I said, we we have uh, been spending some time on um, on uh, breatharian.info, uh, which is great. Uh, but 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 somebody did get into uh, breatharian.com. Um, and, uh, and then they fucked their own servers up, so, you know, you know, two hours ago, I would have made fun of them for that decision. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's just a thing that happens. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> server's rebooting again. Uh, server's rebooting again. The server is rebooting again. It'll be fine. Don't, be don't fine. hit refresh on the page if you're on it. Don't hit refresh on the page. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's you fine. You still got that uh, technical difficulties picture for us? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you might just want to keep that open uh, and <laughs> window uh, minimized. Just keep it handy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, so uh, Breatharian dot uh, com uh, is a different site, um, and um, uh, they have um, a, a seminar that you can take. Oh, great. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's uh, there's a there's a long description of it. Um, I'll just I'll summarize just a little bit of it. Uh, uh, Ooh, some along the way connect in some form with a religion of some sort, but in truth, these religions, comma, other than harnessing the thank you, Portex, other than harnessing the implicit sense of there being something more, something greater, really in truth, do not express truth of who and what you are is particular time about. Um. Uh, but uh, let's talk about the immortality workshop. <laughs> oh, now can I get? I can get college credit for this, right? This is yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, well, it depends. What community college are you at? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, Boots, if you will take uh, there on uh, page uh, eight in the document, if you'll take the uh, the immortality workshop and power ascension. Sure. Great. Uh... Thank you. <clears throat> Empowered as well, empowered ascension or immortality initiation workshops by Wiley Brooks, Breatharian and founder of the Breatharian Institute of America. <laughs> to do this workshop, you must be able to spend one or two weeks traveling to special places throughout the four corner states. The students who complete this workshop will be the spiritual <laughs> leaders and teachers of the new world. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. The workshop includes a visit to Earth Prime in the fifth dimension, <laughs> where Krang is from. Mm. And a couple Supermans. Yeah. Uh, in your physical body, if you are ready, my workshops are being extended to March 23rd, 2014. The cost of the workshop is $1 million USD. Whoa. Ex Whoa. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why <laughs> <laughs> did not? Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, you uh, had me. I was we, ready to sign. Our hotel costs covered in that, or yeah. That... Can you can you just? I feel like, yeah. Uh, maybe you've got maybe a great you've idea for a how to make some money by accident. And the best part is, only one person needs to sign up. <laughs> so uh, the process is simple. It starts with a hundred thousand dollar deposit, which must be received okay. thirty days before the beginning date of workshop. Uh, and oh, to register, okay. to register the, for workshops, get... call actual phone number. <laughs> All right, and you know what, here's, put in an envelope, I, mail to Mark Cuban. All right, great. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I I feel like you know what? I'm gonna move some money around. I'm gonna do this because I can still change my mind. You know, before the before the class, <laughs> right? And get my money back, right? Right. It's sort of an impulse purchase. You know, like yeah, you send in a hundred thousand now, and like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, like, you may be spending a million. But you're gonna make that all back because you're gonna live forever. Yeah, but but what Just I'm saying is, I feel like I feel like there's get with a, with an offer this outrageous, there has to be refunds. No <laughs> refunds! Oh, <laughs> there are no refunds. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, uh, okay, so um, uh, instead of eating, uh, Wiley here, the uh, the the seminar leader, um, he's got some um, 
some five magic words uh, that can uh, that can teach no, it's you. Not okay. five magic words. It's magic five D words. Yeah. The, the, how to use magic five dimensional words? Uh-huh. Five dimensional words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, uh, you know, these no, it's are... A, it's a five-sided die that has magic words on each face, and you roll it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So these are, these, are, these are probably the five uh, magical dimensional words that you're thinking of, okay? So there's Jot Neon John, right? Mm-hmm. Then, there's, then there's Amkar. Because if, if you read these in any direction in the fifth... <laughs> uh, there is uh, Raron Car. Ra 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 I think I remember visiting these planets one of the Mass Effect games. <laughs> then there's So Hang. <laughs> oh yeah. It's my favorite, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I do indeed. Then there's uh, uh, the fifth is Sat Nam. Sat Nam. <laughs> Joke's on you, jerk. You just gave me your five magic words. Now I don't have to give you a million dollars. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> I'll get you, Jimmy Franks! <laughs> okay, so. Start meditating with these magic words for at least 30 minutes a day to begin with and increase your meditating time to two hours a day as soon as possible. Repeat Who's them in the... Repeat them in the exact order that they are. It is better to have some Diet Coke in your bloodstream, if possible, before the meditation exercise. You may drink as much as you desire of Diet Coke in the 20-ounce and 1-liter size and at McDonald's with caffeine in the plastic bottles only. The double qu- the double p- quarter pounder with cheese meal at McDonald's is the other part of this diet. Try to eat at least one meal a day for at least one month of 30 days to get started. Go back Why? to my website periodically to see if you can start to feel the magic's love. <laughs> you, know, you know the love energy from my writings after reading a few paragraphs. It is, is okay. A, is this supersize me? Or... <laughs> <laughs> so guys, just because yeah. there isn't a single part of the stream that hasn't gone down yet, the umbot bot is down. So, the, 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 oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the I, I took that down as as a attempt at fixing the other stuff. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so you have to sing Mbop for us now, Frank. Yeah, Frank. Frank oh, here. I have to do it. We all have yeah. to do it together. It's a okay. harmony. Great. Uh, one, two, three. Mbop. Mbop. That's great. Fucking catastrophe. We're the dumbest people I know. <laughs> if you want to hear us do that again, donate another hundred dollars uh, before boy. Booth puts the bot back on. <laughs> <laughs> now then, uh, well, okay, uh, so the love, the love energy for my writing, okay. It is okay. It is, yeah, it is okay. <laughs> what is <laughs> Vortex is not happy about the mbop. <laughs> no, stop. Stop, stop. No, no stop, stop. Stop, stop. No, stop. stop. Please, stop. <laughs> okay. It is okay to drink from the cups when eating at McDonald's. I highly recommend that you eat at McDonald's whenever possible. All McDonald's. So McDonald's really isn't food, then. This is yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's the thesis right there. All McDonald's are constructed on properties that are protected by fifth dimensional high energy spiritual portals. As you continue to use this medica- meditation slash diet program, you will start to feel the difference in the atmosphere when eating inside of a McDonald's and outside. <gasps> hey, guys! If- <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh my god! Okay! <laughs> Boots, get it down! Alright, All right. uh, one, two, three. <laughs> I just want to fly. Put your arms around. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I like all the like 
random Twitch people that are just stopping in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yes, hello. Goodbye. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to our karaoke stream. <laughs> Yay, karaoke. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, um, karaoke is actually against uh, Twitch's terms of service. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I wonder why. <laughs> anyway, so I was talking about McDonald's for a while. Uh, if yep. you are in McDonald's, substitute the royal, the hamburger royal with cheese for the double quarter with cheese and Coca-Cola light for the Diet Coke. Drink only the Coca-Cola light. Uh, it is also acceptable to combine two quarter pounders with cheeseburgers to make one double quarter pounder if you can't get the double quarter pounder with cheese where you live. Important note, do not drink water of any kind or from any source. And most importantly, <laughs> do not eat any fruits or vegetables during this regime! Oh, wait, it's, I've been a breatharian this whole time. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Only Domino's and <Yeah>. Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Pepper is also acceptable. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's uh, that's how to be a good breatharian. Uh, my name's Wiley Brooks, and I uh, own the domain uh, breatharian.com, which I still don't uh, don't quite understand. I mean, breatharian.com gives a 403 error if you go to the actual site, so I don't really understand. Like what that site has to do us, what that site has to tell us. Coincidentally, now, why, you also own a large amount of stock in McDonald's. Well, that, yeah, that that is true, but I don't see how that relates. Now, now, Wiley, Wiley, while I appreciate uh, the the science that you're laying down on this, yeah, I yeah, cannot make it to correct. your that seminar. Sense. Oh, I'm um, sorry to so, hear that. Uh, and I'm just wondering if there's, you know, I'm an active person. I'm on the go. Uh, do you have any kind of product that I can use as a shortcut to get to this uh, Breatharian uh, enlightenment? Well, do you, uh, could I? Do you think I could interest you in Elixir of the Gods? I'm listening. All right. Well, Nutshell can actually tell you about my delightful product, Elixir of the Gods. Elixir of the Gods. This water originates and flows from the legendary fountain of youth and immortality in the Garden of Eden in the Kingdom of Love and Wisdom, yep. which is in the fifth dimensional Earth slash worlds located at the end of the Yellow Brick Road. I'm in. The That's cost okay. is okay. $10,000 for a 32-ounce uh, bottle. Shipping me? and handling included. This mm. product works best with the five magic words diet and meditation system. Sincerely, Wiley Brooks, king of love and wisdom. Thanks, Wiley. Ten thousand dollars for thirty-two ounces. These are like movie theater concession prices. Am I right? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> You're watching the blue collar comedy tour. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gays. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, um, uh, then there's some more, oh, man, if you scroll down, you get to see a real doll in the document. Uh, oh, good. If, you, if, you, if you're lucky enough to actually the be ultimate on breath the in the U.S. right now, uh, there's a link to the document. Um, I don't know if that's a real doll or if it's just an unfortunate woman that is cosplaying as a real doll, but, uh... Why can't it be both? <laughs> Why can't it be both? Um... So anyway, uh, it looks like uh, Neil here has uh, read up a little bit on uh, on uh, Wiley Brooks, uh, which then goes to uh, Valeria, the the, the aforementioned uh, real doll woman, um, and then there's Olga, and uh, Olga wants to tell us a little bit. About... <laughs> okay, so we're going to be going to Olga Podorskaya, right? And uh, yeah. this is the International Association of Breatharianism. Um, so, uh, so Jimmy Franks, uh, mm -hmm. we're on uh, page ID 415. Oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> and, uh, yeah, what do you want to talk about here? Oh, what, what Jimmy was Franks. That, what, was that, uh, what was that number again? Uh, 415. 415. Oh. I see. There we go. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, tantric sex. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Tantric sex! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> After the transition to anedia, your sensitivity will become very acute. This can be explained by a relaxation of the nervous system, the susceptibility of the mind to the finer vibrations and excitation energy structures in general. You know, Jimmy Franks, I gotta say, you're not mm. talking to a bunch of fucking amateurs, right? Okay? Like, okay. like you're talking to the goddamn F+. I mean, we are seasoned professionals <laughs> when it comes to having sex. 
Right. <laughs> we are no strangers to all of those various things. We're really, We're totally really good at it. Some We're of us awesome. are recovering from horrible injuries related to that very thing just because we're so enthusiastic in our practice. You know how you can fix those injuries? More sex. Oh! <laughs> Never tried that. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, so you know, we're great at sex, and uh, why don't you um, uh, just go through the steps, all right? We're, we're, oh, a, yeah. we're a pair that's lucky enough. We want to just go through some steps, please. Yeah, totally. Uh, well, <clears throat> well, before you get on that... What? $707. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! <laughs> okay! Count it down, Boots! All right. Uh, I'll count down. Three, two, one... Scratchy Vortex. Vortex just feels bad because she's not joining in. She's gonna get you, Lemon. I know. So uh, sex is so attractive by the opportunity to forget just for one moment about the I, to relax and dissolve in the feeling of bliss. If the pair is lucky and they truly are ready to move along, opening of tantric relationship will happen to certain steps. Okay. One, where this journey begins, from a mutual commitment to your partner. It sounds very simple. To put the interests and partner superior higher than you, in each religion it is a main practice. In Buddhism, sadhana, commitment to teacher, and Christianity, repentance, etc. Number two. Okay. Not ninety-nine percent of the people have a blocked sexual energy. Even <laughs> if am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Even if a person feels it, and if he is sexually active, it does not mean that he can use its potential. It is necessary to disclose the sex center to allow the free flow of energy go upward and not deplete with fluor. Hey, honey, go get another bottle of sex Drano, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Need to clear out my sex chakra. <laughs> Imagine the I'm image of the there. DNA helix. Downward line is death wish, with the rising line is desire for life <laughs> and energy flow. Releasing the, of the seed is the desire to fulfill the task of procreation and death. Moving to the top is the path of self-realization. Number three! Yeah. Sexual feelings are translated from the genitals to the entire body, extending the ecstasy to every cell. Number four. Mm -hmm. Learn to really feel the flow of energy in you and in your partner. Number well, five. Learn... Learn to energetically interact. Number six, go to the phase when the process and the body becomes permanent, transformational regardless. The action oh, oh, just boy. keeps going like this for a while. Certainly yep. does. <laughs> what's uh what's uh what's number ten there? Number ten, sex is not limited to body energy space. What the Wonderful. hell? <laughs> what? Ah, wonderful variety of sensations out of body sex, for example, on the astral level. Yeah, but if you're having out-of-body sex, you've got to watch out for, you know, lizard people and stuff like that. Uh, you, have to do, you have to do that no matter what. Uh. <laughs> Always keep an eye out for the lizard people. Start keeping an eye out for you, I'll tell you what. Poor Tex is drawing, my sexy lady lungs! Check it out! <laughs> 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 my lungs, my lungs, my lungs! Those are some pretty sexy lungs there, poor Tex. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, F+. Plus. Yeah. <clears throat> in this, in this uh, Breatharian episode that we're having, uh -huh. um, uh, do, do you guys, here's just a question I want to ask you, mm. okay? I don't know okay. if, I don't know if this would be your thing or not, um, but do you guys want to go to Above Top Secret? What? Oh. <laughs> Like, that's not already um, open in my other window. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. I, I have to go now. Oh, um, no. No, no, no. Get back here. You get back here. God damn it. <laughs> uh, so, yay, so, lizard people. Yay, lizard people. <laughs> yay. All the lizard people in the house, throw your hands up. <laughs> Put your hands up, all the lizard people. Um, the tiny stubby little hands they don't go very high <laughs> uh, so yeah so my uh, name is Blue Mule so uh, I'm a Moscow Mule but made with blue <laughs> cotton candy fago um, it's really good it's really good you should try it <laughs> I was on special at uh, Hootenanny's last night yeah and it's still on special it's like they can't get through it or something <laughs> 
It's because it's so popular. <laughs> that makes sense. So, a step toward ascension. I, I, I need you. I need you. I need a... Okay. <laughs> um, I, I want to become a breatharian. I think I can do it. I think it might be a necessary step towards ascension. Ants with human eyes. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, poor text. You're the best. Uh, any of you guys know a breatharian? Not needing food <laughs> will be a great advantage in the coming <laughs> years. <laughs> True. You don't have to protect your stockpile if you don't need it. Like if you go to Above Top Secret, like like the the number of threads with the that don't have the word Trump in them. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, food has become more and more difficult for me, and fasting has been easier and easier. That's weird. I think it might be time for me to take another step towards ascension, millennium, and take the anedia <laughs> plunge. <laughs> My wife won't like to go back cooking for one. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, I have a follow-up, too, uh, which is, oh, yes, it's possible. A balanced level of sustenance can be taken in directly via mental forward slash spiritual power. There isn't any need for people to starve. It's our flawed materialistic no. beliefs. <laughs> about what we are and what we are capable of achieving that is making things harder than they have to be. Sure, awesome. once you slough off, all of the, slough off all that nasty flesh, you'll be completely free. <laughs> and uh, Frank West, your name is uh, Roger T3. I am Roger T3. I never met a breathinarian personally, but my best mate spent quite a while in the company of a young lady who claimed to have been a breatharian for nine months. She said it took many years of preparation, so I wouldn't just leap right into it. Ding! <laughs> Ding. <laughs> this is dissident. The complete rehydration of the body without the ingestion of <laughs> any liquids can be achieved with hand mudras. So I presume that nourishing the body uniquely with prana can be done, but I never tried. I wish you good luck. All right, and then uh, Roger T3, you have a response to that? Dude, wait. The the pure yang, hakini, and pran muda. I have several responses to many things, but I believe... <laughs> Dude, extracting enough energy and nutrition from air in order to survive is a little more of a commitment than eating a few more veggies and less red meat. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh boy, Above Top Secret is uh, just a really super uh, helpful place. Um, okay. I'm sorry. I This is stuff that gets edited out of an episode. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is how the sausage is made, folks. Ding. Cortex? Is that like a, a, a brain? Ding. No, it's a brain eating a, a turkey. I think it's a xenomorph. Oh, yeah, I thought it was a xenomorph. Oh, no, like a since it's a regular tongue, though. But you're right. It looks like it's a brain. Vortex, could you draw a xenomorph with a turkey tongue? Vortex, <laughs> <laughs> draw a xenomorph with a turkey tongue! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, nutshell... Yes. Uh, this document, uh, once again, uh, provided to us by Neil. Uh, and thank you so much, Neil. Uh, Thanks, for Neil. This. Thanks, Neil. Uh, so we are uh, going to what might be the uh, the last thing in the stock, uh, which is uh, it's called Loving, Learning, and Living in Vienna. It's on. Uh, oh, it's a mind eating. Because oh, sorry. it's a mind eating. Oh, oh, that that pun was too clever for us to figure out. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Hey, Frank West, what's the total at? Uh, 738. Okay. Have we done, have we, have we, are we caught up on our bops? Yeah, yeah. We, we did the last one at 707. Okay, okay. So. just wanted to make sure we weren't derelict. Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I mean, you can sing a different song right now if you want, but... Uh, I will sing, uh, that other, uh, Hanson song. 
Hey, we're handsome. <laughs> hey, hey, handsome. we're the handsome. Like, we're just, I don't know why that song never, uh, never took we're off. We're just hanging out. <laughs> oh, shit, you're getting the drawing. Yay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. All your fault. Wow, why is it not traditional to give out Thanksgiving cards? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There's an entire line of cat themed Thanksgiving cards out there. Oh yeah? Yeah. I suppose. Alright, that's necessary. I suppose. Are you really gonna question Nutshells <laughs> like <laughs> knowledge on this one? No, I would not question that, nor would I question the uh the efficability of cat merch. Anyway, <laughs> uh so this is called Sunlight Eater. Uh, breatharianism, and uh, yeah, nutshell, take it away, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Tuesday, June 19th, 2012. Sunlight Eater, Breathanarianism. I had never heard the term Breathanarianism until last week when I met a woman who claimed she only lived on sunlight. My first reaction was, sorry, say it again? Are you kidding me? You haven't eaten for two years? <laughs> say <You> what? what? <laughs> Nobody will survive without any food for more than 80 days. Laughing, she told me patiently that it was indeed what she had been doing, eating only light, nothing else, and drinking only one to two liter of water a day, slash a day. A spirit had been guiding and telling her how to do it right. Maybe you are eating while you are sleepwalking, I insisted. No, she answered firmly. How about cooking? You have four children and a husband to feed. Don't you taste when you cook? No, she replied. I don't believe a word of it. How many kilos have you lost within this two-year period? Two kilos, she said. Wow. Imagine wow. if I don't need to eat anything. How much money I can spare considering the amount of food I consume every day? Nah, nah, I don't believe it. If I don't have two to three times regular meals plus fruits and some juice, I'll lose weight the next day. Yesterday, the digital number on my scale showed me that I had lost almost one kilogram for only having a single meal two days in a row. If I don't eat for two years, the two kilos she lost would probably be the amount of weight of my carcass remains. I looked at her voluptuous body and generous chest size. Oh, my. <laughs> she weighed a great deal more than I did with my 162 centimeter centimeters and, and 50 kilos, though we were almost the same in, in height. Hmm. Almost in the mm -hmm. same height. Yeah, yeah. She looked radiant, healthy, and seemed happy, and almost, and most importantly, quite sane. Wait, so I I'm confused. To... I'm confused. So, is Wait, this from the point confused. of view of the the person who uh, is is the breatharian? Uh, no, looking at someone this is who a isn't person meeting they look... a breatharian. Yeah, and they're and they're just amazed at how good the breatharian is at being like sexy and voluptuous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Yep. I wanted to ask her many questions, but unfortunately some clients had been waiting for her. The following day, I met two women who also had known this lady for a long time. They told me they wouldn't believe it would be possible eating only light for such a long period. However, yeah. they couldn't imagine why she would lie to us, they said. The mother of the lady in question <laughs> confirmed that her daughter did only eat light. I was very worried at first, of course. How if she broke down, her organs didn't function, and she died of heart failure. But then I see she is doing just fine. No health problems or whatsoever has she encountered ever since she gave up eating food altogether. Despite all the reassurances by these people, I was not at all convinced. I did some research on this phenomenon and came across this link. I found the speaker, James Randi, very entertaining, and oh, I loved okay. watching his mocking expressions when he expressed his doubt on the whole thing. I also okay. read the article in German on Wikipedia, which explains the origin of this movement, Breathinarianism. So as a James Randi fan, mm -hmm. you, think, you think he'd be down with this whole Breathinarianism thing? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, I think he would reasonably weigh the but evidence. It's, so it's okay would... because this woman, she Fort won't be with drawing a, a, sun, a sun glutton right now. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> a sun with a spoon and fork. <laughs> with that son of a belly. Give me that son. It's Drop okay though because this woman won't meet with a skeptic like Mr. Randy even for one million dollar. Oh my. Unless the spirit from another world tells her otherwise. Oh. That sunshine's good eating. Mm 
Uh, Chewing on sunshine. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, 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 <laughs> wow. We finished early. How you doing, Lemon? What are you expecting that, were you? Uh, uh, well, we thought I'm... about five minutes. How long is Umba as a whole song? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, no, okay. Wait, here we go. 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 I'm gonna okay, post. Only okay. a lot more hours to go. Don't worry. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's okay. fine. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, send or post that right there, um, and we're going to be going um, uh, uh, Frank West, uh, then me, <laughs> then uh, Booth Rain Gear. <laughs> Then oh, Jimmy no. Franks, then Nutshell. Uh, and so anytime that, that you see a line break, uh, you will tag out. So I'm starting? Oh. Yes, you're starting. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. I think, no, do you have another, like I was saying, like a gap. Oh, oh, when you say line break, you mean, yeah, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, we're going to do no, every no, single one. No, 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 anyway. it's fine. Yeah. What was the order again? Uh, f uh, Jimmy Franks, you're after Boots. Okay. <laughs> I'm after Frank West. After me, okay. I literally don't remember the tune how this starts. So, oh, 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 yeah. You have so many relationships in this life. One or two will last. You go through all the pain and strife, then you turn your back, and they're gone so fast. Oh yeah, and they're gone so fast. Yeah. Oh, so hold on to the ones who really care. In the end, they'll be the only ones there. And when you get old and start losing your hair. Can you tell me who will still care? Can you tell me who will still care? Oh, care. Mbop, bada ba dup, bad do bop, bad dub a dup, bad do bop, bad dub a dup, ba do ya. Wait, wait, Mbop has other lyrics besides Mbop? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Mbop, ba dub a dup, bad dub a dup, ba do dup, ba do dup, ba do dup, ba do ya. Said, oh yeah. In an mbop, they're gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> plant a seed, plant a flower, plant a rose. You can keep any one of those. Keep planting to find out which one grows. It's a secret no one knows. It's a secret no one knows. Oh, no one knows. <laughs> Back to you, Frank. Mbop. Ba da da da. <laughs> ba do bop. Ba do ba da. Ba do ba ba do ba dop, ba do yeah, ba do yeah, mbop, ba da ba do bop, ba do bop ba do bop, ba do bop ba do bop ba do yeah. In an mbop they're gone. In an mbop they're not there. In an mbop they're gone. In an mbop they're not there until you lose your hair. Oh, but you don't care. Yeah. Okay, I get this. Mm bop, ba dub a dub, ba do bop, ba dub a dub, ba do bop, ba dub a dub, ba do yeah. Oh, that's the that's the Canadian pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> mm bop, ba do ba dub, ba do bop, ba do dub, ba do bop, ba do dub, ba do yeah. I just, Fortex, thank you for always drawing my avatar appropriate. <laughs> Can you tell frustrated. me? Oh, no, you can't, because you don't know. Can you tell me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you say you can, but you don't know. Can you tell me? Oh, which flower's going which to grow? Which flower's no. going to grow? You can't, because you don't know. Can you tell me? It's, it's going to be a daisy or a rose? You say you can, but you don't know. Can you tell me? Oh! And which flower's going to grow? No, you can't, because you don't know. Can you tell me? You say you can, but you don't know. You say you can, but you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Oh! Oh, Bob! Do Bob! You love Jews! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, Do Bob! Do Bob! Do! Oh, yeah! Oh, it's my turn. Mm, Bob. ba da do Bob. ba do Bob. ba do ba da ba do Bob. ba do ba da Mom always said I had a good singing voice. Ba do ya. Ba ba do ba da. Ba do ba da ba do da ba do ba ba do da ba do ya. Can you tell me? 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 Can you tell me
Can you tell me? Oh! No, you can't, because you don't know. <laughs> can you tell me? You say you can, but you don't know. Say you can, but you don't know. Yeah. All right. All right. And that was Fantastic. Breatharians. Oh, uh, that was Breatharians? Yeah. <laughs> Breatharians by Hanson. So, uh, plus, what did we learn from that? <laughs> I learned all the Imbop lyrics. Yeah. I all learned way all. less about Breatharians than I thought I would. Yeah. <laughs> like, I thought they would have some sort of, like, internal ethos and logic or something to them, but uh, it was just general, like, just shit-talking. Yeah. Prana with a side of fries. Hmm. Uh, I, I learned that you need to have at least uh, a dozen different items in a dock for it to be uh, roughly an hour of content. <laughs> you did learn that. You did learn that. Uh, <laughs> I was learning that by about the 25 minute mark of, ooh, uh oh. <laughs> Lesson for uh, all of us. <laughs> and I learned that uh, fixing server issues while under heavy strain is uh, also difficult. Yeah, yeah, working on it. Sorry, we're working on it. All right, it's we're going to step away for for a few minutes. Uh, when we're Am back, doing... we're My picking up Frank West things? and Jimmy Frax. We'll be back with uh, Toast oh. and Stog. Hey, Boots. What am I doing? My my games thing. Uh, it's up to you. We will announce that at the beginning of the next section. Okay. <laughs> All right. uh, yeah, so uh, coming back uh, in just a couple minutes, we got Boots Rain Gear, we got Lemon, we got John Toast, we got Nutshell Gulag, we got Stog. Uh, stick around, and we'll see if we can break Yay. the server again. Bye-bye. Bye. Yay!